So 12 kids, their 25 year old soccer coach stuck in a cave in northern Thailand. But we really haven't heard a lot about what these kids were doing in this massive cave system in the first place, other than they were exploring and planning on etching their names on the walls deep inside the cave as some sort of soccer team ritual. That's all according to the Wall Street Journal. That's what we know, but it just doesn't make much sense considering, again, how far inside this cave system they are right now. And I keep hearing on the national networks, they're talking about how similar this all is to the Chilean miners in 2010, but I've got news for you. This is not similar. First of all, they were all miners. They spent half their lives underground and they were all adults trained to deal with exactly what happened. Maybe not for 69 days, but these are kids. The oldest is just 16. Most of them are around 11 years old. Not a single one of them can swim, according to the Washington Post. And this whole thing about teaching the kids to scuba dive is also kind of ridiculous. The kids are at least two and a half miles in and a half mile underground. To put that into perspective, that's two Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. The only thing that does remind me of the Chilean miners situation here is the media attention that this is now all getting. The eyes of the world are watching. The only other rescue plan right now is cave diving with snorkel gear, but the boys would have to hold their breaths and swim underwater for 100 feet in certain areas between air pockets. So obviously that's not going to be easy. And as you just heard, this is not a great environment to learn how to swim. So 13 days and counting right now and technology still struggling to overcome geology. The good news, if there is any, the kids do have food, they have plenty of oxygen and they are uh, see, uh, being seen by doctors right now. But as I said, none of that is going to get them out of this cave.